It's the 21st century and we've finally cast off our rigid notions of binary gender stereotypes. We're freer than ever to just be who we want to be. But the animal kingdom definitely has the upper hand on gender fluidity. Although we're only just beginning to understand them, many animals are remarkably versatile when it comes to choosing their gender, as well as the behaviours and parts that go along with them. For some, it's a simple matter of cross-dressing. A small male giant cuttlefish changes its demeanour and its colouring to imitate the smaller, shyer female of the species. He tricks the dominant male into thinking he's a female and not a threat, so he's allowed close to the other female that the alpha's jealously guarding. Then, taking care to avoid the big male's mating embrace, the slyly disguised cuttlefish can mate with the female Female right under the other's tentacles. Meanwhile, on land, red sided garter snakes form a writhing mass around a single female in an attempt to be their sole mating partner. But some males, in another twist of gender mimicking trickery, choose not to join the fray and instead give off a scent just like the females. Potential suitors are fooled and rub their warm bodies over him in a courting dance. There's no happy ending for them, but the trickster is able to absorb some of their body heat and this heat gives him energy. And with a competitive advantage, he's now able to slither faster and wrestle harder for the female's attentions. All's fair in love and war after all. But sometimes just masquerading as the opposite sex isn't enough. Some animals opt for more drastic measures. Anemone-dwelling clownfish all begin life as males and live in a community where there is only one pair of fish that breed. These are the two largest fish in the group. And as with all reproductive partnerships, one of them is female. But where did this female come from if they're all born male? Their secret is revealed when, for whatever reason, the breeding female disappears. Then, amazingly, the breeding male can turn his testes into ovaries and transform into a new female, while the next largest fish in the group steps up to the mark to be her new mate. This gender switching is called sequential hermaphroditism, and it's surprisingly common amongst fish and other animals. While clownfish go from male to female, these colourful anthias fish make the switch in the opposite direction. They start out as females, and only a few of the biggest will, given the opportunity, make the transition to become dominant yellow-chinned males when the time is right. Males control a harem of females and use a tactic of constant harassment to stop any of the others from changing. Gender swappers like him get the best of both worlds. As a young female, she faces no competition and has the opportunity to spawn several generations of her own young. Then, as a male, he has the opportunity to spread his seed even further, fathering young with a wide range of other females. Being a sequential hermaphrodite and switch genders when it suits is a nifty way of maximizing the chances of your genes getting passed on to the next generation. So there you have it. That's just a taste of how gender can be less than straightforward in the animal kingdom. And really, we're only just beginning to realise the extent of the sex swaps going on in the sea and on land. To find out more amazing facts about the natural world, be sure to subscribe to Earth Unplugged and let me know what you'd like us to delve into in the comments below. See you next time.